one of the things that struck me today was you can you use very rapidly statements like resurrection, new creation, kingdom of heaven, almost synonymously because they seem to represent this fuller uh, Israel's full view of what that means. Where I think most um, Western or evangelical types tend to look at those as very distinct categories. Oh, oh, okay. uh, where, where do you think that comes from? How do we work on resurrection, new creation, kingdom yeah. of heaven? Those are, those are yeah, very yeah, yeah. seen as very distinct. I mean, I, I tend not to use the phrase kingdom of heaven precisely because that is the most easily misunderstood. And it's basically Matthew, as you know, uses kingdom of heaven, but it's synonymous with what you get in John and Luke, uh, Mark and John and Luke as kingdom of God. And it means the rule of heaven. It doesn't mean heaven as a place to which you go. Anyway, as I said yesterday, um, an awful lot of this comes down to really understanding how a first century Jewish mind worked. Now, of course, you quickly say there are lots of different first century Judaisms around the place. You know, different first century Jews have different ways of, of, of looking at things. But there are many things which are massively in common. One of the reasons I wrote the New Testament of the people of God in the early 90s was that I was fed up having to spend hour after hour with individual pupils explaining basic things about first century Judaism when the tutorial was supposed to be on, say, the parables in Mark or, or Paul and the law or something, but discovering that you just couldn't get to that if they didn't understand the basics about how a Jewish worldview would have worked. And uh, it's very interesting. Somebody asked about John Piper this morning. Piper, in his book, Written Against Me, actually warns his readers against taking first century Judaism too seriously, you know, which I find just astonishing. You know, be, be very wary of that stuff. It may lead you astray. Just stick with, stick with the Bible and you'll be all right. So, um, was, yeah, okay, stick with the Bible and you'll be all right. But unless you understand the world in which the New Testament was written, you will just commit massive anachronisms all down the line.